Wildfires can be really scary. It's true. I, um, it's true. I think there's a great new development out we there. We do. There's some really cool technology uh -huh. out there. There's, uh, you know, we spoke to Skip uh, Hutton a little earlier uh, about his fire break blanket. Yeah, trying, to, trying to pronounce that. I can't say yeah. that three times. But, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, it's made right here in San Gabriel Valley. It's really cool technology. Heavy. It was heavy, yeah, too. Yeah. So. And um, he's going to show us how it works. Well, let's and watch. No, this, by this is only 15 feet. Okay, so you've got it all rolled up, and it's quite out. heavy, too. And the solution that you have created is to really prevent fire from spreading on personal property right. or commercial property? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a design that I've put to a patent out for, and it uh, is a portable fire um, line, and you would put it in front of your uh, property, uh, a wildfire that I've had testing um, done on um, would come into it, and the, the way the pattern is, is uh, the holes get smaller and smaller, and it slowly chokes the, yeah. um, the fire down to where it has to pass underneath it, and then it, it drops down to zero. So you have some incredible footage of some of um, the testing that you've done on this, which is really interesting. You can see how some of it does become smoldered. In fact, I had a friend of mine um, just this week, her neighbor behind her, the home was on fire. And she ran out to start um, uh, just hosing her property down. The neighbor next door did not do anything. But this really could have kept her safe to a certain extent from the smoke inhalation that she was um, you know, kind of exposed well, to then, it, too. It actually, when, you, when you, you put this down, it actually chokes the fire off from oh, spreading yeah, no, this it was, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. So I think the neighbor's yard was actually the, um, there was some damage in, in another neighbor outside of the fire. Hers was not damaged, but I think this is going to make people feel a lot safer do, do you if put they this, have it Do you available. put this down ahead of time, or is this something that you, you kind of lay out when the fire starts? I designed it so that somebody could be ready to evacuate and it would take two or three minutes to uh, set up a whole uh, perimeter line so that they could have a way to bring 15, 20 foot high flames down to zero in a wow. matter of 10 feet. So do you foresee people maybe in um, high fire zones wanting to keep these in, in their, on their property or have it kind of set up for these kinds of situations? Or That's my marketing okay. plan right now, yes. Fantastic, well, yeah. Well, this, this, is, this is pretty heavy material. What's it made of? Well, it's fiberglass. It has a mineral um, um, deposit on it that takes the temperature um, up to 2,000 degrees. So the testing that I've done, um, most wildfire um, runs about 15 to 2,000 degrees, so it gives it a chance to um, slow it, stop it, suppress it all the way down. Right. Now, this is for the ground. It's yes. not, you're not going to yes. like hang this in front of your house or anything, or anything to right. prevent anything. Right. It's, it's the suppress the any. But the video the was fires. really interesting as far as what, there was a little, um, some like a wad of paper that was about three feet from the fire. Yes, I, we, uh, we had the uh, testing agency put um, balls of paper uh, three feet behind and one foot up to test the radiant uh, heat factor, and it was able to suppress the radiant heat at the back edge. Um, this is basically the back edge. And um, so the, the, um, okay. the fire comes in and it drops down below here. And as it uh, drops down and is covered up, edge here. Okay. you don't need to have much space behind you clear um, and it'll keep fire from passing beyond it. Right, so I mean, this is kind of heavy material. Um, you know, when something happens like that, it, if you're by yourself, are you going to be able to spread this out and get this ready by yourself? That's why I roll it. It's it's basically set in front of an area that you would deem where you want to put this, and then it rolls out and it, it opens up in a matter of one minute. Right. So do you give guidelines on where to set these up in some sort of perimeter, sure. or do you just recommend, you know, a full circle? Well, it's, it's going to be... The wind is going to bring it in, so you want to set it in front of the structure or whatever you want to protect um, based on which way the wind is coming in so that the fire will actually go into this trap and then be depressed down to nothing. That's well, very great. interesting. That, that's, that's well, I, I think this could be a very helpful product for people who are living up in um, some heavy forest oh, areas. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. 
appreciate and that you came on to share this with us. And, and thank you. people can look up uh, your site at www.firebreaksolutions.com and check out a little bit more about right. uh, you what you've traded here. Thank you. Thanks right. for joining Thanks us. Thanks very much. You don't have to go to Cuba to get some good, authentic Cuban food. I know. We're going to have um, Abby Rodriguez right here in studio with us from Medianoche making food with us.